All right, so for this challenge, we're going to need a few concepts. The first concept we're going to understand is Airy 3D uh, and animation. So let's do this in a new scene here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a door. So uh, my base will actually be an area 3D first. So let me create an area 3D and let's add in our door. So this is our doorway. Now, of course, you can have your own or whatever. It's really up to you. Now, this one is nice because it actually has a door specifically. So what we can do with this is I'll just drag out the actual image. And now I will add an animation player. And what I can do here is I can say door open. And to open the door, right? So from close to open, this is actually quite easy. All we need to do is go to the actual node, right? The doorway. We'll go to the transform. And what I'll actually do first is I'm going to reset this at the base position for the doorway. And then this guy, I will key the position and key the rotation. Now we can rotate it as if it's opening. So we'll get the door and we'll rotate it like so all the way, let's say 90 degrees, right? You can even see it's around 90 degrees and we can key this. Oops, actually, let's reset that. Uh, so let's undo and then go back here and we can say 90 degrees again and key that. Now, if your door doesn't rotate around this axis, that's fine. You can also change the position, right? So maybe if it rotates in the middle of the door, make sure you move the door accordingly to wherever the position is. So now the animation looks like this. Okay, so now what we can do is duplicate this and just call this door closed. And what we'll do for this animation is just reverse the keys. And so for the position, I don't actually need that for this, but I just wanted to show you guys for your image if you have a different one. Now, of course, the asset pack for this will be down in the description down below. So check that out. Now for this, I'll just save this as door. But what we need to do before we continue is add a collision shape. We need to well, give a collision shape. I'll give this a box and just move this up like so and just make it a little bigger than the door itself around this size maybe like this and now i can go to this rename this to door go add a script i'll make it built in for now just because uh this isn't a series this is just one off video uh, but now what i'll do is i'll connect the uh, body entered node to itself the signal sorry and here, my player is in its own group, so it's in a player group. Uh, you can also check for the uh, player itself, whatever way you want to check. But I'm going to do this by doing if body is in ah, is in group player. If you guys don't know how to add a group. Uh, I have a video on it. Go check it out it's on my channel somewhere. All right. So now that we know that the body is in the player group, what we can do is get the animation player. So get node animation player, it should be animation player, Here we go animation player, and we will play the open. So we'll say door open, right? So we'll open the door by calling this animation. Now, the cool part about this is now I can just connect the body exited and do the same thing. But this time on this part, I'm going to say door closed, right? So this is all we need in terms of code. Right. So this is cool because this allows us to open the door and close the door simply using animations. Now, if we make sure we save this, we'll go to our door and add this to our scene here. I'll just rotate it so it actually fits the player because my player itself does not have anything too complicated. So you'll see in just a second when I hit play that the movement is very uh, Bad, but yeah, there we go. So now we can open it. But if I leave, uh, let's say we go over here, you can see that it closes. So once you enter the door, it opens the door and can kind of go through it. Now, obviously, there's no collision, uh, but if you want to add collision, that's pretty easy. You would have to change this actually to a static body or add a static body. And then, of course, in here, you can actually create a collision shape. And this adds a very accurate collision shape. And you would be able to do the same for the uh, doorway, but you would of course need to add a static body as this is an area 2D. This doesn't actually give collision, right? So that's how you would do that. Uh, I hope this challenge was helpful. I think it was a fun challenge. Um, so if you guys want to join the weekly challenges, uh, enter your email list 
uh, email into the list down below. It'll be in the, the first link in the description. Uh, I send out weekly challenges every Sunday and I make a video solution every Sunday as well. Uh, so for the previous week, so this was the solution for our 3D uh, door opening. So I try to give hints and stuff in these emails so that way you guys can uh, practice these things yourself. So I hope to see you guys around. And if you guys enjoy this video, as always, hit the subscribe button down below, like the video, share and comment, and I will see you all in the future.